hello how to solve for y in this equation y multiplied by y multiplied by y minus y multiplied by y is equal to 100 solution then here we have y multiplied by y multiplied by y this is y to the power of 3 minus y multiplied by y this is y square is equal to 100 but 100 is equal to 125 minus 25 then here we have y to the power of 3 minus y square is equal to 125 minus 25 then this is y to the power of 3 minus y square then this is minus 125 plus 25 is equal to 0 and this is y to the power of 3 minus y square this minus 125 can be written as 5 to the power of 3 plus this 25 can be written as 5 square is equal to 0 now let's pair this we have y to the power of 3 minus 5 to the power of 3 here is minus y square plus 5 square is equal to 0 so this can be written as y to the power of 3 minus 5 to the power of 3 minus y square minus this 5 square is equal to 0 if you open the bracket you are going to get this back that is minus multiplied by y square you get minus y square and minus multiplied by minus 5 square this will give you plus 5 square back so take note of this that from here if you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 this is equal to a minus b bracket a square plus a b plus b square and also also from here if you have a square minus b square this is equal to a plus b bracket a minus b now let's substitute y to the power of 3 minus 5 to the power of 3 this is y minus 5 bracket here we have y square plus 5 multiplied by y plus 5 square minus here y square minus 5 square that is y plus 5 bracket y minus 5 everything is equal to 0 then here we have y minus 5 bracket here y square plus 5 multiplied by y this is 5y plus 5 square here is 25 minus here is y plus 5 bracket y minus 5 is equal to 0 now here y minus 5 is common and y minus 5 is here let's bring it out we have y minus 5 
bracket bracket here if you divide this by this we have y square plus 5y plus 25 minus if you divide this by this we have y plus 5 is equal to 0 now here we have y minus 5 bracket here y square plus 5y plus 25 here minus multiply by y this is minus y minus multiply by plus 5 this is minus 5 is equal to 0 then we have y minus 5 bracket y square this is 5y minus y this is plus 4y then 25 minus 5 this is plus 20 is equal to 0 there are two cases here the first case is y minus 5 equal to 0 and the second case is y square plus 4y plus 20 equal to 0 then from the first case here y is equal to 5 this is the first value of y and from the second case here this is a quadratic equation let's solve this using quadratic general formula and our quadratic general formula is giving us y is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a where a equal to 1 b equal to 4 c equal to 20 and then y is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 20 divided by 2 multiplied by 1 y is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square that is 16 minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 20 that is 80 divided by 2 multiplied by 1 2 y is equal to 4 minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 80 that is minus 64 divided by 2 then y is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of minus 64 can be written as 64 multiplied by minus 1 divided by 2 now y is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 64 that is 8 minus square root of minus 1 that is i divided by 2 now y is equal to minus 4 divided by 2 plus or minus 8i divided by 2. 2 here 1, 2 here 2, 2 here 1, 2 here 4. Then y is equal to minus 2 plus or minus 4i. This is also the value of y. Therefore, our final answers are y1 is equal to 5 then y2 is equal to minus 2 plus 4i and then y3 is equal to minus 2 minus 4i then this is a complex root And this is also a complex root.
So we have this as the only real root. We can check to confirm if this answer is right or wrong. Let's check. In order to check, we are going to make use of this real root to check. We have the given equation y multiplied by y multiplied by y minus y multiplied by y is equal to 100 when y is equal to 5 here we have 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 minus 5 multiplied by 5 must be equal to 100 then 5 times 5 25 25 times 5 that is 125 minus 5 times 5 this is 25 must be equal to 100 here yeah, 125 minus 25 this is 100 is equal to 100 which is true i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel bye